it's a baby. One little thing, tiny, teeny bitty thing. I really do need the deed to a pattern of mine. Since a baby, her to day 12 and it says fresh start oh wow what do we have here seafoam face wash by pacifica i love pacifica let me see if this has a smell to it i use their products all the time it has a watery Smells like water and it has a little bit of vanilla like lotion smell to it. So I presume this must be a gentle face wash for the winter. I'm going to enjoy this because Pacifica is a very reasonable brand. So I can often get their stuff on sale for a good price. So I hope this works out and bumps out all those high-end facial washes I've been using. Isn't this just the prettiest scene? And what have we here? Ooh, another fragrance, and it is Santal. Okay, so that's like sandalwood. Oh, I love woodsy scents. And this is a girly scent here. Now, I think I must have lost my nose because, um, it smells very similar to yesterday's, not yesterday's, the day before yesterday's fragrance. So, let's see what we got here. Oh, no. When I put it on my skin, you have to put this on, on the skin. The Santel, when I put it on my skin, it smells so much like pure sandalwood. Sandalwood is the note that I'm smelling on my skin and something behind it like a clean fresh crisp note that's not sandalwood sandalwood is a warm a very warm earthy note but there's something very crisp and techno in there that i can't put my i can't name right now because i i don't know they use a lot of different spices and stuff that i don't know but maybe it's something like a hint of oud or something but it is beautiful oh my goodness and it smells so i've been noticing these atelier scents in these sample bottles they last on me even though it's winter time and my skin is so dry you guys oh my goodness when i don't put lotion on right now i look like i have like white cracks all through my skin i think the term is ashe ashe you know so if a scent is lasting on me, it's because they have essential oils in them. So it's actually moisturizing enough to carry itself. Oh, I love Atelier. I don't know why I even bother everybody. This, these are such beautiful scents. I mean, I have other fragrance lines that I love too, but um, they didn't put out a, they didn't give me like $300 worth of products for $50 full price like Atelier did. So um, they shall not be named. This was like, I don't know, I think it was like $200 or $300 worth of products in here. You see all these fragrances and I'm open up for 49 bucks. So that's, that. Love, the, love those that love you. Atelier showed me much love by coming out with this set because I love all their fragrances and they put the prices down where I can save up and get it like I did this. So yes, who all Christmas long, every day. Think about how your friends will remember you every time they're opening up these scents in here. And guys, trust me, there are 24 different highly fragranced products in here. Even if you get this for Christmas, open up one day at a time or maybe one a week or something. This could last you. This is a countdown to next Christmas. You could get 24 weeks out of this. Really, you could. Okay, we have completed our 12 days of Christmas. You now know the whole song. And um, next, please look forward to my Grinchmas videos. Yes! 
we're going to do some Grinchmas videos and we're going to discuss all the things that Mrs. Grinch doesn't want you to do this Christmas. She don't want you to do it. And um, we're going to come through and tell you about that. So look forward to the Grinchmas videos coming up next. <laughs> It'll be fun. I forgot to mention, after I, the lady got my purse, one of the ladies who, in deciding if she was going to steal it from her or not, she said, oh, the price is on. Let me see how much it's worth. And she's like, $15. Hmm. Well, the gift exchange maximum you could spend was $15. So, and, and if I went someplace and got like, uh, Hermé Birkin bag for $10. Let me explain to you that would not be in the gift exchange. But um, it was it was really nice. If you go back and see when I was wrapping it, you'll see how nice that tote bag looked. Reversible. It was all black tote bag on one side, brown on the other side. Just gorgeousness and so reasonable. But um, this is what I got. They got me an elf brush set. Well, they didn't give it to me, actually. I was like number seven and um, everybody, nobody liked the gifts. The only gift, the only gifts that anybody liked in the gift exchange was my tote bag and scarf and also a um, Pyrex bowl set, glass bowl set. I love Pyrex myself. I love Pyrex. But every other gift, people... Somebody put cash in there, so they had $15 cash in there. And I'm like, we all just spent $10 to $15 on a gift, so you're just giving us our money back. That's not really fun in a gift exchange. Other people went out and got a gift card, so it's like now I have to go, like the, you give somebody a $15 gift card to an expensive restaurant, so I got to come up with $15 more dollars to, to um, add to your to be able to buy a meal at an expensive restaurant. So that wasn't fun, but you can go to happy hour, I guess. But one lady, one, she went up and she picked this elf brush set. And we all know I'm way too cheap to buy my own brushes. So when she got it, she didn't look enthused at it. Cause you know, it's a church, it's a church gift exchange. And I like to give the best gift in exchange because I want to give somebody joy. And also, if I see that somebody really wants the gift that they got in the white elephant gift exchange, even if I really want it, I will assess that they want it and say, you know, I'm, I'm going to be a good Christian church lady here. Um, God bless, my blessings come from the Lord. It's not from what I can take in the gift exchange from somebody else even though I try to give such a good gift that other people cannot resist. Tell me Jesus. But, um, so when she got this, she, she was like, meh. And then somebody else got a prayer journal and she's like, Oh, can we trade? I really want that prayer journal. And they said, no, you can't trade. If somebody else takes your gift, then you can take somebody else's gift. So then I was like, it's God. He's sending me a message to that elf brush that is mine, is mine, is mine. I was the first person to steal a gift. Yes, I was. Am I wrong for that? But that's how I'm justifying it. So I quickly went over. As soon as my turn came, I went over and snatched these elf brushes from her. And she quickly, without even thinking about it, snatched the prayer journal from the lady who had opened the prayer journal and we both sat there happy campers enjoying the perfect gift for us god sent her a prayer journal and it was so lovely it had some other stuff in that set it was just a beautiful beautiful set but she was the only one that wanted a prayer journal all us church ladies nobody but her wanted a prayer journal and I was the only person that really wanted this Elf Fresh set. I hear a lot of people talking about Elf Fresh sets, but um, I have my Wet n Wild brushes. I've already bought them, and I am not gonna change. You know, no new friends, and it was gonna be no new brushes unless the Lord saw fit to do something different. Okay, now I'm feeling this brush here. It feels soft, but I can tell that it has really, really large plastic bristles on it so it it doesn't yet feel as soft as my my wet n wild brushes it might be in my mind this is a powder brush and this was the one i really wanted look how big that is 
to dust off my powder. This is way, okay, on my face it feels nice and I think it will dust off powder and take the powderiness away from my skin if I ever have it. So that's great. And let me see. This is one of the other brushes. Look at that blending brush there. Oh my goodness. Now this feels nice and soft. It feels like a butterfly is tickling my hand. Let's see. Let's take a look at this packing brush. I'm having such a hard time getting this out. Okay. They are nice. They are very nice. But with this packing brush, I'm used to using a Sears brush. And that Sears brush, it's um, really, really thick. Like really, really thick chunks of um, ropey plastic. And so the powders don't go into it. It's almost like using a sponge. The powders just stay packed on one side. So when things don't give me very much pigmentation, that's what I normally use. This is so soft that I'm thinking the powders might escape in there and it might not give me the coverage. So, you know, some of these brands, they will give you some um, eyeshadow and it'll be so thin, hardly any pigmentation. And that Sears set, which I encourage all of you to get, uh, simply something or another. It's just whatever brush set they have in Sears. It's got the, it's, it packs the stuff on so good. So I'm thinking this might be too soft for what I want, but it is a nice brush. Um, yeah, the brushes are nice, but I think that if I run into that situation, which these companies do nowadays, where they give you this sheer, sheer shadow, um, these are going to be too soft to really pack them on. So I, could, I guess I could use a sponge in that case. But they're nice blending brushes. If something is hard to blend, I think all of these probably will blend very well. I just think that they might not pack on as much eyeshadow as I want. This is just at first use. But they're nice. They're nice. And I, you know... I still have my heart set on some brushes from the Pure Company. I've been seeing those brushes on Hot Look. And even on Hot Look with that delivery fee, it was too much. But I'm still holding out for that. In the meantime, the Lord has truly blessed me because this brush here would probably be like $5 for the holidays. And I got the whole set. God gave me the whole set. For make it taking the time to bless somebody at the gift exchange and the lady who got my gift she is a minister okay so God blessed her she got the best gift at last year's gift exchange too so God just gives her favor at our gift exchange Jesus loves you and I love you with all the Jesus in me Merry Christmas have a happy Hanukkah be blessed and I am praying to God for us to both start 2018 debt free and gorgeous we can do it thank you so much for watching this video thank you for clicking on to it and while you're here Subscribe and watch another one of my videos. We're having a good old time over here.